So, was haben wir hier? Just before we dive into the hardware and demonstrate Dieter's restored and fully working example of the Lorentz blind landing system and in a departure from our usual procedure, we'll look at a schematic representation of the system's function. This will provide a background for the role of the equipment parts that we'll look at and demonstrate later. Take it away, Dieter. Okay. Here we see the... Uh the blind landing system from company Lorenz was in plenty uh, uh, aircraft used, also in four iron uh, aircrafts. So, what we see here, the, the uh, aircraft is in this position. Here's the correct way, and the aircraft is now here on the, on the left position, two strong left, and get uh, points. Yeah? Now, the aircraft correct the position to this and, and get a, a permanent tone. Yeah? Now it's flying too over this too much right and get dashes. Yeah? So, okay, go back. And now is the, the, the right way, a permanent tone. So now the, the aircraft comes nearly to a signal. We call this a pre-signal, uh, for signal. And he, the pilot listens this. The pilot is in this, and when he is exactly over this signal, it is very loud, and a spitzer lamp is uh, flashing. So, okay, he leaves he leaves this signal, and. And he, on this point, he has to make uh, exactly um, uh, uh, that he goes exactly down, yeah, that because he knows uh, 300 meters in front of the uh, the air, airfield uh, is nearly over uh, maybe 150 or 100 meters. The the uh, the, uh, the altitude. F to make a good landing. So, but uh, when he is in this, uh, yeah, here, what is this? Here, when he is here, here he listen, he listen this this signal from this pointer, and he flies more and more, more loud and loud, loud and loud, loud and loud. Now, it, now he is direct. Yeah. Now he is in this position. Okay, and, and I hope the landing the landing was well. <laughs> what we see here, this is a blind landing system. Uh, what we have shown in the uh, schematic on the wall. So for in this this system has two antennas. Uh, first antenna is this for the for the beam detection. A second antenna is under the under the fuselage from the aircraft to detect it, the signals in front of the uh, of the airfield, and here we have the the uh, receiver for the beam, and this is a receiver for the signals in front of the, uh, of the air, uh, airfield. Here is the uh, motor generator. Uh, here is the indicator. We are left or right uh, from, the, from the beam. And uh, here is the selection for the, for, the, uh, for the channel, special channel you need for the airport. I 
I adjust this. First, I have to start. <laughs> so. Yeah, so. Uh, okay. We can start with the... Uh, we can start to show the system. How it works, okay? This portable radio transmitter was used as a field test device for blind landing radio receivers installed in an aircraft. It'll allow Dieter to simulate radio signals from the beam antennas and the proximity beacons as though our system was on a flying aeroplane approaching a landing strip. Zu hören, tüt, tüt, tüt. Korrekt. Right. Correct. Left. Right. Okay. signal fresh <laughs> nasty and that's the Lorenz blind landing system don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more like this from Dieter and me, bye for now.